Have you seen some Canva designs that have been using masks or overlays? And you wondered, I have the free version. Can I even still do that? Yeah, you can. Let me show you how. So the first thing you're going to need, if you're going to do a photo one, let's just do a photo one first. So let's pick out a photo over here. Uh, we're just going to do something random. How about the girl painting? We're going to set that to our background. And what you want to do is just go into your elements and pick out whatever kind of overlay that you might want, that you want for something to go behind it. Um, let's like an ink blot. If I can spell blot, right? Blot. Boom. So let's see all. So of course. Let's see, everything's got little crowns on it. So let's find one that doesn't have a crown. Well, goodness, like this, here we go. Something like this. So say you wanna put, you wanna make her look like she's drawing a picture or something back there. So there you go, you got this ink blot or whatever you want. You can do anything, blot, splats, all different kinds of things to kind of do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to a background remover. I use remove background BG. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this file and we're going to download it. And then we're going to bring it over once it's downloaded. Wait for the little circle thing down here to stop. And we're going to go and just drag it up here. And we're going to remove it. So what I call this is a reverse background. So see, it took all the background out, but I want all that stuff back. So this has a cool little feature when you go to erase and restore, it has this magic eraser. So it works pretty good. So we're gonna keep that on for now. So I want to restore, I wanna restore all this white stuff that's around her. I want all that restored back up. So I'm gonna hit that with some green. You don't have to get all, you know, all close because I'm very terrible when I have to find do it. it. I'm very, very bad at it. I don't have steady hands. So this does pretty good. So as you can see now that all the picture is back. So now what I want to do is I want to go in here and erase all the black. So what I'm going to do is put this and hit the black right here. And it should take that out for me. So now I have an empty spot where that black was. So right here looks like it kind of took out that part right there. So I'm going to restore that part back. So what I'm going to do is go right here and restore that back. And there we go. So now I have my outline. So I have that. So what I want to do now is I want to come down here and I want to download that back. Download the image and then come back over to my Canva. So Let's do something and get a little video. Um, say we, oh, let's do the bridge. That looks cool. I want to put the bridge back there. So what I want to do is bring her back up. Let her load. Come on over, sweetheart. And then now with the mask, Now it looks like she's painting the bridge. So now you have a mask. You can also create masks out of letters or anything you want. I'll have, I have some examples of what I've done before. Um, I wanted to split a picture. It's an idea I'm playing with to make, so I made a mask under that and I'm gonna stick a picture underneath of those. Um, I've also made a mask like this, so I can do this and, uh, let's see a little cool element that I like to use underneath of there. Um, this, so I like to use that underneath of there. Cause I think the text looks awesome when you do that. So let's go. I love the new position thing. Let's go on my layers and I want to put that behind that. So like if I move these out the way, change this to black. There's a cool effect. And if you do letters, and if you notice with the letters right here, you can see like an outline. 
So all you have to do to get rid of that outline is go into Edit Image, go into your Adjust Settings, take your brightness all the way down. So see now that's gone, and if you can still see a little bit, you can take your contrast and go all the way up. So then the, that outline is gone. So then you can kind of move this around and see where your please like is and and or your words and kind of put like an animation or something behind it to make it look cool. You can do all kinds of things. And another thing you can do too is you can go into here. Let's turn this back white. Um, get rid of these two. Another thing you can do, let's look, 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 look in my uploads. Um, I have, let's see. So I use these for this picture for an example of how to do one with a photo in the back. Um, also, I use one of these. So what I did with these, I also use these for a cool graphic. So once I had this mask, I was like, what else can I do with it? So I went and edit image. I went into my shadows and I like curve. So like go in a curve so, and, and apply that. And I look at the cool little 3D effect it's got going on with it. And then you can stick a picture behind that if you want to. So like go into your pictures and stick a little photo or something behind that. Let's make her small and stick her back in the, in the hole. Well, we're not going to like hardcore edit it or anything like that to make it, but just to give you an example of something you can do, or you can take that out and, um, all right, go away. Like duplicate it, go in here, go into edit image, go into duo tone, change the color of it, and then apply. And then you have like this, what they call a uh, paper, paper cut, paper, the paper effect. I forgot what they've been calling it, but you can go in here and you can go back and adjust your blur, whatever you want to do. You can actually go back in here and add some more shadows to it and make it look cool. So let's say I want to put a drop shadow in there and I want to go into the adjustments and I want to change my, I want to make sure my drop shadow is black. And then I want to make it very darker in there to make it look like it's more lifted up. And then apply that. So you can do all kinds of things once you get a mask and, and try to do different layered effects. So it's up to you. It's a fun little trick. You can do all kinds of things once you learn how to make a mask. And just have fun. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope if you like this, you will please like. Please subscribe. Please come back. I've got some more little goodies cooking in the, in the brain here. So... My name is Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Much love and until the next time, see ya.